Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to talk about my add-ons that I think you should have for the War Within. Uh, we're going to be breaking them up into sections. So cosmetic based add-ons, uh, questing add-ons, combat based add-ons, and then of course we'll also talk about additional add-ons. And we'll mention a couple here or there. It's also very important to understand uh, that I'm not an expert at add-ons. In fact, I'm terrible at them. And there is a YouTuber that I actually watch. Uh, it's the only WoW YouTuber I watch. He is a great guy, much bigger than me, really awesome. Uh, his videos on add-ons are amazing. So a lot of what I've done, even the profiles that I've used, uh, essentially I, I steal from him because his setups are just way better than mine. Uh, so yeah he's awesome i'll leave a link to his channel in the description i think is i don't know actually how to pronounce it. i think it's quasal um but really his uh profile setups are amazing so if you are enjoying what you're seeing here uh please obviously go check out his channel he also does instructional content as well much better content than me uh so yeah really really awesome but uh, let's uh roll with it yeah so we're going to start with uh, pretty much what everyone probably wants to know. Uh, so we're going to start with the essential combat add-ons. So the combat add-ons, generally speaking, I would say only really amount to about three that are very, very important. Uh, so the first one that is super duper important is going to be uh, the DBM, or it's called Big Wigs for some people. Now DBM and Big Wigs um do the same thing so what they do essentially is they uh, give you prompts for when you are fighting bosses uh basically for when you are taking on players uh you know or doing raid content they essentially provide you with a huge uh, amount of benefits so it's a very big bonus for a lot of players and it helps you a ton because it tells you what's going to happen and you're then able to have a much better time uh, overall of course you know uh, on top of that as well uh, there are a couple other things that are really really helpful so you'll see right now uh, all of these different bars that we have here uh, and essentially to cut a long story short uh, this is from a add-on that is called plater uh, so we have Plater, ooh, and there we go, I'm dead. Uh, we have Plater, and Plater is a great add-on, because what it does, it allows you to set your plates, essentially, for a whole bunch of different situations. So, for example, you can see here, if we go to Cast Colors and Names, uh, we can see, essentially, a whole bunch of different color sets for different casting spells. In terms of NPC, we can see different colors for NPCs. In terms of enemy NPCs, we can see a whole bunch of different colors that are set up for enemy players, friendly NPCs, uh, combo points, actions, spell profiles, buff specials. Essentially, you have a great way to add way more detail with your characters. So, for example, we can see here uh, which enemies we're drawing near, which enemies out of the enemies that we draw are essentially casters or non-casters. And in general, uh, we can have a much better time when it comes to these characters. For example, I can see here that this character is not currently aggroed towards me. Uh, I can also see that they are a melee character because of the way their frame is located. At the same time here, I can see that this character is not yet drawn to me. Now I can see that they are aggro to me. Uh, it's just a nice way to really separate out exactly what you're seeing beyond the standard green, non-green, uh, etc. kind of situation that you often find with most uh, of the standard baselines. Uh, the next one that's super duper important is details. So what makes details so important as an add-on or recount if you prefer recount is what they do is basically provide you with ways to track your damage and this is something that's important if you're someone who's looking to improve as a player so if you're looking to improve as a player it's great to be able to see where your damage has been done 
It's also fantastic in being able to see everything else. You can see healing, overhealing, damage done, damage taken, resource use, miscellaneous use, and you can track all of it and it's very highly customizable to tracing exactly what you need to trace uh, for obviously your purposes. Now, beyond that, there is definitely an incentive uh, to, how can I say, uh, more hardcore players in having this than casual players and during leveling and things like that it's not necessarily the most useful uh, of things to have you, know, you don't need to track whether you're doing optimal damage if you're doing leveling quests or just casually doing events uh, generally speaking it's not necessary uh, until you are obviously doing in-game content so that's one of the things to to mention and then uh, obviously, so DBM, we've covered Plater. The next one is going to be Weak Auras. Now, Weak Auras is here. And Weak Auras are all these little symbols that kind of pop up. Uh, mainly for, obviously, um, ourselves. So a lot of the times you'll see it pop up for us. And this will give us an idea of what we're currently holding in terms of buffs. It lets us see it much more prominently on the screen. So, for example, it shows us that we currently have the Howling Blast buff up. It's up for 13 seconds. And this allows us to essentially not functionally look at our action bar when we need to see what's happening. Um, and a lot of people, you know, it takes time getting used to it, to getting used to all these things, to seeing your CDs, your cooldowns. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's actually very intuitive. And it helps you a ton because what it does is it basically gives you this massive boost uh, in terms of immediate feedback on what's going on. Uh, for example, I can see I'm flying. That's maybe not necessary. You can you can control and you know, remove all of these things. Um, but you can set them up as much as you want. Now, again, I'm going to be honest with Plater, Weak Warriors, all of these things. Uh, I'll talk about it now, but as I mentioned before, uh, I am not good at setting all of these up. And this other YouTuber, Quasal, sets up fantastic profiles uh, for pretty much everything so it's way better for you to follow his profiles than to listen to me try to explain how to set it up as it's quite a process uh, for example if i open up weak warriors uh, this is a process like these are processes uh, seeing every single kind of display trigger etc and you have to set them up per class uh, they're not things that are super easy to set up so, you know, having someone set them up for you is really uh, a super big helping hand. Uh, so it's something I definitely suggest to a lot of players, especially if you're someone new to the game. Just import a profile. It's very easy for Plater, uh, for Weak Auras, for all of these to install. It's actually incredibly easy to uh, add in all of these profiles so i definitely highly suggest i mean it's as simple as like for weak warriors uh, obviously you can click import there import texturing uh, for plater it's the same uh, you can go to obviously you know your uh, import screen for profiles click import profile and have a pretty good time there uh, and honestly it's just a much better system and a way to track all your buffs at the same time and if you want to fiddle around and do it yourself, then obviously yeah, that's very good for you. Uh, I highly suggest you do so. Then the last one, which just isn't showcasing itself here, unfortunately, is the Omni CD. Now, Omni CD is a great add-on. I'll just show you guys uh, the Omni CD uh, over here. So Omni CD uh, or OC, OC uh, as it's. Uh, I think, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. And now I'm just, uh, Omni CD, uh, should work. Uh, it says it's out of date. Omni CD, uh, essentially is great because what it does is it shows you the rest of your party's cooldowns. So it's one of those situations where you can track what the rest of your party is doing really, really well. So to cut a long story short, uh, basically what we have now is we have details for damage tracking we have omni cd for party management of cooldowns weak auras for displaying of combat information 
and later for displaying of enemy information. Uh, all very, very simple intuitive add-ons that players can organize and utilize uh, very, very well. So they, you know, they are really, really solid. Uh, I will be switching them off for the next sections, just mainly because I want players to focus on each individual section. But I would say all of these are, I don't want to say mandatory, but if you're someone who wants to get into even just heroic, normal uh, style rating, I would say these are probably necessities just from a functional point of view. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll move on to the next section. So let's talk cosmetic add-ons. Uh, so obviously we went through combat and cosmetic, you know, plates are still kind of applies here. As you can see, it's affecting my presentation of the game. Uh, from having just labels of players that associate with their name. Essentially just things that kind of make things look a little bit better. Uh, there's nothing too crazy when it comes to a lot of the stuff. This is also interlacing with uh, other add-ons that I have. But generally speaking, uh, play data will affect your cosmetic appearance. Before I continue, everyone's going to note that there's one add-on I don't have and I don't like it is LVUI. So you might see people recommend LVUI, you might see people not. I personally am not a fan of LVUI. It's got nothing against it. I just don't really see the point. It changes a lot of your functional appearance of a lot of your stuff. From the dungeon guide, the raid guide, etc. It adds black borders. It does kind of like a homogenizing of all of it. I just don't really see the point. It is really nice for integrating some of these add-ons all together under one copious profile. But I just don't really like it and how it changes my um, minimap and just does certain things to my game that I'm not really a huge fan of. The only real cosmetic add-ons that I do have, uh, realistically speaking, are three. So besides Plater, there are only two other ones. Uh, one is Narcissus. So uh, Narcissus is... Uh, just one that I personally like quite a bit. It is quite uh, resource heavy, so you don't have to have it, but I just do personally quite like it. Uh, it's essentially just a really, really snazzy uh, add-on that adds a lot of nice touches to your player profiles. You can skip in to provide a nice uh, statistical screen and look at your character. You can save item sets and appearance sets, uh, and you also have a really cool little photo mode uh, that you can establish for your character. A lot of the times it also integrates uh, a whole bunch of stuff like loadouts for talents and PvP and just in general makes your life a lot easier. Uh, I think overall it's probably just one of those add-ons I like because it encompasses a little bit of kind of a whole bunch of other add-ons but not to the extent where I feel it's kind of overwhelming uh, my UI. So it's just one of those ones I like from a cosmetic standpoint. On top of that as well, in terms of cosmetics, there's really not too much else. The only one I really have as well is Hiding Bar, and this just allows me to hide out all my add-ons under one little select screen, just allowing me a bit of a cleaner look on my minimap, which I think overall is just something I like. So let's talk about questing, because questing you know, and add-ons for questing I think are important. There's a couple add-ons that are very important, I think, from the standpoint of questing. And I think it's actually really straightforward uh, overall. So one of the ones that I really like, obviously, is TomTom. Tom. I think if you're a player who you know, goes on to Wowhead or comments or you know, even watches my video, TomTom Tom or Waze or whichever way you want to use, essentially allows you to provide pinpoints on a map. So as you can see here, it gives my player position uh, and it allows me to essentially track different points on the map in terms of actual coordinates. So you can see my cursor is at 56.41. And what this does is this allows you to create a kind of method of location for yourself. A lot of quests and quest details will be given in these coordinates and just allows you to find things that are way more specific overall. You can also, using TomTom, Tom, actually set yourself uh, ways, and this will allow you to, as you can see here, create arrows that will point you towards yourself. So, for example, I want to set a way to, uh, 50, to 56 uh, 
58 and then it well it's not letting me here because I, I did it wrong but essentially I can set a way and a um, yeah, little arrow will pop up guiding me to my location which is very very important so I find Tom Tom to be quite important uh, it's helpful in terms of tracking quests the only other ones really that are super duper helpful uh, in terms of quests is world quest tracker uh, world quest tracker just helps again with tracking world quests is nothing too wild uh, I don't think anyone's gonna find it too crazy it just helps you with tracking world quests and keeping track of everything and then the other one is handy notes so handy notes is great not from so much a questing point of view but an exploration point of view handy notes basically gives you a whole bunch of information on the map so what it does is for example if I go to Tiriscard Sound I can see the treasures here um, and basically you can go and find these treasures uh, and it will actually give you hints on how to solve them for example you won't see this until you've collected the Sinner's treasure map from Pirates at Freehold uh, for example you haven't seen the since yet, so basically I just haven't got there I can even add waypoints to this position I can set locations to this position and essentially it just gives me information uh, that basically allows me to uh, better collect trophies, rares, and you know, just essentially collect a whole bunch of great stuff across the board. So, I really do like handy notes, and I think these three, although very simple, handy notes, Tom Tom, and World Quest Tracker, I think they just provide that little bit of extra layer of information that makes playing the game uh, way easier, like overall. And then finally I want to mention some uh, optional add-ons uh, that generally speaking I just find very very useful but you don't have to have uh, overall but I think they make your life way easier. So these are going to be uh, essentially rear scanner okay, which is great. Uh, then you're also going to have the uh, baginator or bag on or whichever, whichever bag uh, add-on you want to use there's so many uh, that you can obviously use and that's really it uh, and then our special mention for RP players because yeah I play RP so let's talk about uh, rare scanner rare scanner is very simple basically you go into an area and you can scan for rares uh, it's really that simple it'll show you where rares are uh, it will also show you where rares are already killed it will also show you non-discovered rares friendly rares etc uh, when you enter the area the scanner will kick in so it's not going to scan the whole damn continent if you fly into stormheim or whatever area you're going in when you're nearby it will scan for that rare it will pick up if that rare is currently available it will tell you you can go hunt them down the arrow will pop up to them or you cannot so it's a very cool way to pick up rares especially in the beginning of the game for things like war within it's actually really cool because it enables you to have the ability to kind of like, um, how can I say, to kind of like jump in and get yourself uh, like a ton of good rewards that way. Then the other add-on uh, that I mentioned, uh, so obviously we mentioned Rare Scanner, but you know, Total RP3 is a, a different one, but let's talk about Baginator because I think it's very, very helpful. So Baginator is one of those situations where uh, basically it's just a better version of your bag so there's lots of ways to cut and dice it much like uh, much like the weak warriors much like plater you set these things up to customize for yourself so uh, you can obviously have different layouts for example i can sort all my stuff by different categories so that i can just see categories of items uh, we can also see the buttons we can also set whether we have blank space at the top or at the bottom when we're sorting out the back so we can see at the bot at the top we can reduce your eye spacing we can reduce in character tabs we can lock windows we can change active windows there's lots of customization you can do and what's cool is it enables you to see different loot on different characters so actually store information from other characters so you can compare your loot between those characters especially now with warbank obviously uh transferring that loot and seeing what you want to transfer is pretty cool uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do that really just makes your life a lot easier um, you know, and for me you know, obviously it's entirely up to you how big you want to go with it but there's lots of automation you can do uh, you can have auto opening of character panels crafting windows 
forger bonds, guild banks, mail, etc. Uh, and generally speaking, just have a much better time. Control your sorting, control your slots that you sort, and just hold your inventory in a better manner. And then finally, a special mention for my RP players, but obviously we are wanting to uh, you know, look at different RP profiles. For me, total RP3 is just the best one overall. You can create your character profile, you can do a ton of changes on it, uh, let alone really getting uh, super in-depth with it and like getting crazy with it you can import images you can put you know headings colors etc uh, you can do at first glance you can do statuses i've done i think i've spoken about trp3 in its own video but it is an absolutely amazing uh, add-on for rp purposes you can use it to roll dice you can use it to exchange rp items there's a ton of really cool stuff that you can do with it so it's just really cool from a rp perspective but yeah but that's it for me uh, so yeah, so I hope that's helped. Uh, obviously it's add-ons for the sake of add-ons, but I think these are the ones that I use the most and I find the most useful. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe and as always, uh, bye.